You know, constantly practicing your skill in a game like Fortnite can be very frustrating as you won't always be able to see how much you're actually improving. And this can lead to a loss of interest in the game and a low amount of motivation for improvement. Now, some of you may really relate to this at the current moment, but what if I told you it doesn't have to be this way? Bunch of crunch, show me where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I'm back. And today we're gonna be talking about a variety of different ways that you can motivate yourself in Fortnite. I'm your motivation guy, that is true, but you have to learn how to motivate yourself. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. You know, the first way to keep yourself motivated is to remind yourself what your goals are. I, always, I say this all the time on my Instagram. Man, to those of you who connect with me when I leave my quotes, like you have to know the vision. You have to know your goals. If you want to last, last long, and you want that motivation to continue happening every single day and every single week, man, I have my goals. And that's why I'm your motivation guy today because I have my goals. I know where I want to go. I know where I want to be. And each and every day, no matter what comes in my way, I'm able to get past it. So if you don't currently have a goal in Fortnite, but you know you want to improve, I encourage you to set at least one main goal to focus on. And from there, you can set yourself a multitude of different small goals to work on that will push you closer to the main one. For example, let's say that your main goal is to go pro. Well, to go pro, you obviously need to make quick decisions, have consistently good mechanics, and be able to learn from all your mistakes. Of course, those aren't the only things you need to go pro, but you know, they are a few goals to really work together that will get you there. And so on top of that, you know, you can give yourself tasks to really work on for the small goals, which will give you a variety of different ways to really practice, keeping you more and more invested in the main objective. Now, you may be wondering, like, why would you need to remind yourself of your goal if that's the reason you're practicing in the first place? Well, when we're consistently putting hours and hours of practice into a craft, you know, it's easy to lose sight of what we're reaching and, you know, the goal that we're working towards. But if you remind yourself where all those hours of practice can take you, it will give you that boost of motivation that you need to get there. So I encourage you to set at least one goal to work towards, even if it ends up changing later on. If you're trying as hard as you can to reach your Fortnite goals, but you still quite can't make it, you should head on over to Pro guys.com. Our pro coaches will play right alongside of you and they can offer you custom tailor-made feedback so they can teach you how to counter your biggest problems. All you need to do to get started is to hit the link in the top right of the video. So you may be wondering like how this can motivate you if practicing so much is the reason you're unmotivated in the first place. All right, so this is because working hard and grinding for something such as better mechanics or better game sense is eventually going to show you noticeable improvement. Noticeable improvement in your own skill can easily boost your motivation since you're you're able to see how much work your hard work is actually paying off. You know, you may notice this as, you know, you keep practicing or by looking at previous clips, but either way, guys, after seeing how much you've improved, you're going to be ready to work even harder in order to earn yourself even bigger improvements. You know, I'm sure the majority of you guys have experienced something similar to this in the past, but stop feeling as motivated from it as time went on. You know, this is most likely because you haven't pushed yourself to work any harder than you did the last time you felt motivated. What I mean is like by this is that increasing Increasing your skill also means increasing the amount of work you put into your craft. You can't practice the same way every day and expect to see huge amounts of improvement and motivation. Instead, you need to be challenging yourself as much as possible to keep your brain interested and eager to learn. Another good way to motivate yourself is by watching the pros accomplish the goals you're working towards. All right, so let's say that you want to win an FNCS finals one day, but you're getting tired of losing after all the hours you put into practice. Well, a good way to really push yourself into grinding for it again is to watch how the previous FNCS champions did it. If you look back at their old videos from in their qualifiers and finals games, you're gonna notice many different strategies that you can add into your own play style, and you're gonna see their excitement when they realize all their hard work is paid off. So this can easily push you into wanting to accomplish the same thing. And you know, you can practice some of the strategies that you've learned from them and use that knowledge in your own future tournaments. Also, sometimes it may seem like you can't do what the pros do because of their title, but you guys have to remember that the pros started out just like everyone else did. And you know, they had to grind their way to the top with that hard work work and dedication. So studying the way they got there is absolutely perfect for your own improvement. So try this out, man, for any of your goals that you may have, and I guarantee you're going to find value from it. Bunch of girls saw me, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our question of the day. All right, today, you know, we want to know, like, what do you do when your motivation is low in Fortnite? Do you fall off the game for a few days or do you just power on through? Hey, let us know in the comments down below because the community needs to hear what you're going through. All right, back to the video. The next way that you can really keep yourself motivated is by finding motivated players 
to grind with. This works because you're constantly going to be practicing with people who are always eager to improve, which will naturally make you feel the same way since you'll constantly have someone to learn with. So this can be backed up by looking at the average amount of time you spend in solo arena before you get off or take a break. Now, imagine if you had a motivated friend to play duo arena with. You know, you most likely will play longer with them since you're not playing by yourself, right? Also, you know, players like this are just great to have for teammates, for tournaments, you know, since they're always looking for ways to improve and become better and better. So I encourage you guys, find at least one motivated teammate to practice with every day and just see how much that really helps you. If you don't already have a teammate like this, feel free to look in any open Discord server. You know, there's plenty of other players are looking for new teammates to grind with every single day. You know, another way that you can motivate yourself in Fortnite is to set a daily practice routine. An example of this would be to get on the game, you know, around the same time every single day and just start by warming up with an edit course, then move under free building for a few minutes and maybe practice your aim and finally head into some solo arena. Of course, you don't have to do, you know, routine exactly like this all the time, but you should set your routine based on the things that you need to improve on the most, as well as the mechanics and maneuvers you need to keep in your muscle memory. You know, any routine is great as they can all increase your motivation by a huge amount since you're going to know exactly what you need to work on. On every single day and you're gonna feel improvement on things over time. Now, as great as these routines are, they can actually cause some players to lose motivation after a while. And this is because doing the same thing over and over again can get really repetitive and boring and sometimes it feels like a chore, right? So to counter this, pay attention to how much you actually enjoy your routine every day. And if you notice it getting very boring after a while or it's just making you not want to play, simply just switch it up with a new thing and just make it more challenging or completely just change it all together. So the next way that you can motivate yourself is to work on one mistake at a time. You know, sometimes with Fortnite, we try to focus on way too many problems at one time, which causes us not to give ourselves enough time to fully solve the mistakes in our gameplay. And so this can make us feel overwhelmed and lose sight of what we should be working on you know ultimately leading to a loss of motivation so to fix this guys you should pick out the biggest mistake you find yourself making and completely focus on fixing that until you solve it this works because it gives you a single problem to really put your full attention on and every time you fix a problem you're gonna feel accomplished and ready for the next one this can also help you improve your gameplay faster than you normally would but of course everyone's different so that really depends on what really works best for you now if you put all these tips to use but you're still feeling unmotivated it may be time to take a couple of days off to the game this may seem like you know it'll do more harm than good since you're losing practice time but it can actually make you way better you know many pros have taken time off in the past and they come back a few days later making smarter plays and having better mechanics than ever before this is because you know constantly putting pressure on yourself to improve can really cause you to burn out and really not care about your skills as much as you normally would even if you know how you want to improve so this is because burning out makes you lose pretty much all the motivation that you have to work on your goals and really just takes the fun out of the game. So taking a couple of days off, man, can really give you the time that you need to charge up that motivation and reset your mind from all the cluttered thoughts Fortnite can give you. Of course, you don't want to take like weeks off at a time and you don't want to take like multiple breaks every month, but a break here and there is definitely worth to take. After all, Fortnite is a mental game, so you need to take care of your mental health in order to make yourself the best player that you can possibly be. I believe in you guys, man. I really, really do. So keep going, keep grinding, get that motivation. You can do it. You got to find it deep down inside. It's there. Keep going. Take one day at a time and enjoy the journey. You know, staying motivated when it comes to anything can be difficult, but when it comes to Fortnite, it can be even harder. And so you guys got to be prepared, man. You got to keep grinding. You have to stay on top of your mentality. You got to keep your goals so clear and just work towards them every single day. And I promise you're going to see so much improvement. Hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure to sub to the channel. And if you want to connect with me on my Instagram, you can so at your motivation guy. Hey, I'm so proud of you guys. I believe in you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.